the serial killers in 4E. No, Ron, what's good, Dry? How you been today? If you think Cameron's kidding, he's not. Maintaining street cred sells records. Just watch his movie, Kill a Season, or his rap videos, and you'll quickly learn about his drug dealing past. He wears it as proudly as his jewel chains. Damn, show some courtesy, courtesy. In this recent video, which was viewed more than a million times on YouTube, Cameron engages in what's become a standard attack on a competitor rapper's brand. He accuses rapper 50 Cent, whose real name is Curtis Jackson, of being a snitch for allegedly cooperating with a police investigation. He ran from police. You run with police. You don't need someone destroying you when your own people are the worst messengers possibly. Uh, and this is what black people in America have not come to grips with. If we had a bunch of people in robes saying this stuff, there would be, there would be a movement all over America to shut this thing down. That it's young black millionaires, we're doing nothing. You're a millionaire? Yes, sir. Drive a Lamborghini? A couple. A couple? <laughs> mm -hmm. On the streets of Harlem, Cameron is idolized. A few years ago, when he started wearing pink clothing, kids in inner city schools across the country started wearing it too. Whatever they dish out, we eat it up. They could dish out the nastiest thing in the world. It's... We still would eat it up. If the rappers are the teachers, what are they teaching you? Don't back down from a fight, get money, hold your own, mind your business, don't snitch, look fresh. And that's what they're, that's what they're telling us. We met Alex, Victoria, Derek, Darnell, and Tess through a church-based organization called Youth Turn. They're 14 through 19 years old and told us the stop snitching code doesn't just apply to rappers. A snitch is a title to a rat, somebody who goes around telling other people's business instead of minding their own. And do you believe that? Yes. Anybody who comes forward and talks to police about something they witnessed, a murder or a crime, are they a snitch? Yes. It's a crime, remember, in our community, to snitch. Most of these kids had witnessed at least one violent crime, but had not helped the police identify the culprits. Victoria saw someone get shot a few years ago. She says she was scared to talk to the police then, and she wouldn't identify the shooter if the same thing happened today. Why? Because that's the rules. Those rules are making it much harder for the police to catch killers, according to Professor David Kennedy of the John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Kennedy works with communities and police departments all over the country. Nationwide, he says, police are able to arrest a suspect in about 60 percent of the homicide cases they investigate. That's known as the clearance rate. But Kennedy says in some neighborhoods the rate is much, much lower. I work in communities where the clearance rate for homicides has gone into single digits. Single digits? Single digits. And this is what's driving it. Because people just aren't coming forward. That's correct. What does it say about what's happening in a community that if you come forward, you lose status in that community? In these neighborhoods, we are on the verge of, or maybe we already have, lost the rule of law. The snitch and credo is not just a product of hip-hop music, he says, nor are people simply afraid to come forward. As Professor Kennedy sees it, and as Cameron portrays it in this movie, the root cause is a long-standing belief that law enforcement is the enemy. Kennedy says that's partly because of police tactics used to fight the war on drugs. Alex, do you trust the police? No. Why not? Because it's been numerous times I've been walking, just being a regular American citizen and getting stopped for no reason. Is it possible that people aren't coming forward to talk to the police, not because of what rappers are saying, but just because they don't trust the police? Sure. There's always going to be an element that uh, not happy with what the, what the police do. But I think the difference here is the, the commercialization, if you will, of uh, Don't Snitch, the uh, glorification of it. It's that sort of edgy, you know, kind of ghetto, everybody's kind of into it. It does package well and it does sell well. And beneath, you know, beneath all of this stuff, there's huge corporate profits in the industries that feed off of this. Dip set, dip set. Many of the big name rappers who rail against snitches are distributed on major record labels. Cameron is distributed through Asylum Records, a division of Warner Music. When the rapper Lil Kim committed perjury rather than implicate members of her entourage in a shooting, black entertainment television launched one of its most popular shows ever, chronicling her days before going to prison. Black Entertainment TV ran a reality series about her that was advertised with the tagline, 
She's going to prison with her mouth shut and her head held high. This is a Joe Camel issue. This is big business selling death. Black Entertainment Television has said its series on Lil' Kim did not condone her crime, but rather took a very serious look at her life and her choices. As for Cameron's relationship with Warner Music, an executive there declined to comment. I dare any of those executives uh, in the major companies to put one of those songs on in a board meeting. I dare them. They'd never do it. You put on some song that has the N-word 50 times, that talks about killing and murder. Oh, no. Board members don't want to hear that kind of stuff. I just think that rap takes way more slack than, than the video games and the movies. We don't make guns. Smith & Wesson makes guns. Like, white people make guns and bullets, and all we're doing is rhyming and putting words together. If your record label said to you, look, we're not going to promote you, we're not going to distribute you, if you keep calling... Curtis Jackson a snitch, or you keep writing about guns and selling drugs, would you stop? No record company in the world would say, we're not promoting if you keep calling somebody a snitch. They know what makes money. A record company would never be that stupid, ever.